Trick or treat, both big and small. Halloween is upon us, my favorite night during fall. On this fine night, let me tell you a story about a ghost of the past at the beginning of Margaret's glory. In the first arc, the story begins with a little twist from all other logins. A story start so high and so free. Holy shoot, I spawned up in a tree. To gather materials, trees had to be cut. Oh, that really hurt my butt. Ooh, a sheep, I can make a bed out of you. That took too much effort. Need a weapon. An axe will do. Through the trees a hero sets off to settle some land and master his craft. But some water was in the way. I'd go for that house, but if there's monsters, I don't think my health will be okay. Uh, yeah, let's leave that later to find. After I settled some land, and after I mined. I like this area. It reflects people like me, us who got open minds. The heck kind of advancement is that? Mine, mine, mine? The beginning are always meager, just a hole and later four walls. To advance further, the mine calls. Digging a tunnel is not always nice. Sometimes you'll end up somewhere you don't want to be in twice. Add scary mods means you'll probably add scary creatures. Some more creepy than whatever the vanilla mods features. Looks scary. I don't want to go in there. I feel like something is looking at me. I'm not crazy, I swear. What is this place? Feels like the end of the line. Glowing white eyes? That is never a good sign. Plugging that up. I'm not going in there. What? You? D I don't have any armor. Do you guys want me to despair? Shade mail of copper are better than nothing. I will be needing this for when the monsters are coming. Out of nowhere, he appears. If you played Minecraft, who am I speaking of is clear. <laughs> Trying to be peaceful, our hero offered some well done sheep. But the demon with white eyes had other plans, and forward he leaped. Surprised and bewildered, our hero grasps his axe. But the demon was gone, but he would soon be back. Not too much action in the first part, I admit. But now in the second arc, we will fight something our hero discovered during his mining trip. Time has passed and our hero wishes to take on a named enemy. If I kill this name gnome, the rewards will be extraordinary. Off he went, so hopeful and ambitious. But what awaits him is something evil and malicious. Here we are with a skeleton spawner, so convenient. I can turn you into an XP farm. Quite quickly and efficient. Corvin the Rotten, I'm here to bring you to your doom. How? You don't wither? That's unfair. You'll turn this into my tomb. Whew, safe for now. But how long will this last? If I'm gonna do this, I need to do this fast. A hero's plan was first to clean up the bones.
and fast as a horse and clean like an ass, he plugged up the hole. You shall not pass. Just you and me, Corwin the Rotten. You will die here, alone and forgotten. I shall give you some justice. Axe hits in rife. Hold on, this may take a while. Be patient while I take your life. Victory achieved, even though the plan was a bit rash. Now give me my rewards. This is kind of trash. EXP farm would have to wait, at least until the enchantment table had arrived in front of our hero's gate. For now, the meager rewards must do. Better than nothing, it was a good experience too. In our next arc, our heroes have found a village full of potential riches. Time to fuck up and kill up these bitches! This is now mine, this is mine too. I'm stacked up three blocks, what will you do? With these new resources, our hero was gonna raise a wall. It will keep the I mean the mobs out, both big and small. Hero Brian was, to say the least, not thrilled. You wanna fight me, bruh? Yelled the hero. Good thing he didn't. Our hero doesn't have Minecraft PvP skills. So far, the hero is kind of weak. No proper defense or weapons to speak. In the next arc, our hero must grow, otherwise he must prepare for what the consequences will bestow. With the new walls, our hero would be safe, except from the ones that could teleport up to your face. As the darkness consumes the land, our hero wanted the farm underground. Here he could farm at his own pace and leisure, safe from the man on top who wants to bring nothing but displeasure. What this man's purpose is, nobody knows, all we can speculate he wants to drag you below. Off he went, hopefully gold would be struck, even Herobrine came and kissed him good luck. Do my ears to see me? What was that? This is a good sign. It counters right off the bat. That was worst task. Trouble was yet to come. First stop was the house which we skipped during day one. There is a door. What's behind it? Nothing too good. Just books for enchantments. That is not good. Actually disastrous. Could reduce the world to ashes. A barrel with some food and looks like a relic. Night vision improvement? Perfect for us Melix. I have searched the west now I wanna head east. I'm heading into a jungle, might run into a beast. Our heroes is being realistic, not a bad trait. Unfortunately, he was about to run into someone who suffered a bad fate. Abandoned and forgotten, what is this place? Corpses everywhere, indicating a chase.
Who could have done this? Was it Herobrine? Was he a failed experiment? Are there more of his kind? I don't like this place. I want to go home. Is this place where Herobrine came from? No question answered. More questions appear. Why is everything involving Herobrine so freaking unclear? In the next arc, a hero will be tested. Will he triumph or will he be bested? He has gone great length to secure that which makes this livable. The stuff needed to strengthen an individual. The cave is so dark and gloomy, not to mention full of danger. The last thing a hero need would be a cave dweller. Off with the bronze, the Iron Age is here. This upgrade will help our hero get by, though not against everything I fear. I have the essentials, I just need more wood. Where's Herobrine today? As long as he's not here, I am good. What in the nether is this? A machine of some sort? I'ma break it down. It's in the walls of my fort. What just happened? Where in the world am I? I just got teleported away. What the fuck, O'Brien? I swear one day. I will end you, you'll be nothing but a fable. But not today, I'ma make an enchantment table. Our hero is focused to make the effort for enchantment. But to have enough levels, he needed the mobs to be stuck in an entrapment. With the mob stuck in the entrapment they are bind. Nothing to save them from floating down to be grind. Now he had everything to enchant the armor he would wear. With this new power, Herobrine. Beware. I have enchanted both my iron and diamond. My gears has received the blessings of magic. But I won't equip my diamond until I get mending. If I lose it, it would be quite tragic. So it would seem that Herobrine has been here. Now we gotta deal with that E over there. I take back what I said about not wearing my diamond. When dealing with Herobrine, it's clearly the timing. I fail to understand why he would build this thing. Oh great, Silverfish. Get within my sword swing.
I've been teleported far away again. Hero Brian, why? I swear, if you do it again, I will make you die. Damn it! Hero Brian, you piece of shit. Man, I'm so mad. Out of all your BS, this is the worst I've ever had. Understandably, a hero is a bit angry, so next time he would see Herobrine, well, let me put this frankly. Herobrine, you piece of a b f that the likes has no one seen before. Come over here so I can shove these arrows up your asshole. I don't think he liked being called a b f the likes no one seen before, especially since he called his buddies to defend his a hole. Undead army has arrived. Meh, only zombies with glowing white eyes. Skeletons? This could be a problem. Better keep my distance. Got enough arrows for all of them. Another wave has heard the call, thanks to the admins that I made this wall. I really hope they can't jump over. Deal with that later, now take cover. One got over, now I'm puzzled. It's the rise in the snow. This is what I get for not having shoveled. Here he comes a third attack. I've done good so far in attacking back. Are they already dying? How is that so? What do you mean there's a tag? Oh, he be tall. Never mind, he kinda weak. Is that a blue dog? Oh well, they go so unique. The attack is now over, and victory is mine. I have alone defeated them. Take that, Hero Prime. Uh, sorry. After a victorious night, the diamond gear has taken a hit. Our hero wanted mending, and that means plundering, murdering, kidnapping, and forcing families to split. Wait, am I reading this correct? This is a hero, right? Is he the villain? And Hero Brian the hero? Trying to save the world with all his might? Oh well. Everything seems to go well for our hero. Is there really nothing that can be done to reset him to zero? With mending in his hand and the prisoners behind inescapable fences. Our hero wanted to upgrade the defenses. Greedy as he is, there was something more that he wanted. He didn't know how to get it, but then it daunted. 
he needed to travel to the nether a quick trip. Not to get something fancy, just something that would turn the battlefield over in a flip. The old and warm nether, the hell of Minecraft. No need to stay here for long, just secure the place, get what you need, and then leave ASAP. What a hero needed was not something too close to the norm, just the stuff that burns you but somehow isn't warm. What he wanted to build was a defense tower. Around his fort he made several pit traps with lava to boost its power. In this new chapter we will test the weapons to see if they will send enemies to heavens. Listen Cam, I think we need to test the power of our base. Yes you get it, it's something we eventually had to face. Our hero first had to kill Cam's brother to start a raid. By the way, in this mod, if you kill a villager, you might start a raid where you're at, I'm afraid. The raid is about to start. Let's see the power of my improved base. Come on then, you bandits. This time, I have an ace. Do I even have to do anything? I'll just watch and see what they bring. I guess the traps are working. Oops, my water. Oh, you got over the wall? Hey, let me make you harder. Dang, that was it? Man, what a letdown. What are you doing? Oh, zombies, this time around. He's just eating, man, what a savage. Does the snow wall even do any damage? Our story is on its final chapter. How will this end? Kinda of rooting for Herobrine, cause our main antagonist is a terrible actor. Long story short, the tower did not work as intended. The snowman even got killed. Everything except the pit traps was a failure when the experiment had ended. Even Herobrine came and nodded in disappointment. That's it, I'ma kill him, let's make an appointment. First I gotta get this Herobrine final boss to work. Yes, I'm ending you today. I hope you are prepared. What? Got nothing to say? Can't cut your tongue? Oh, that was rude. I hope you get water in your lungs.
Let's get this to work and I'm gonna summon the a-hole. Oh, he's talking smack? Does he think I'm trying to troll? Greeting, Herobrine. It is a pleasure to meet you. Really, that's it? Here, try hitting me, bro. Really? You're weak! I should have turned this to hardcore. The only reason I haven't is because I'm a Minecraft noob, but this is not what I expected from you before. Man, that was really anticlimactic. Thought I needed more well planned tactic. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is where our story will have to end. Thanks for watching, half an hour well spent. I wish you still a happy Halloween. Oh, and by the way, Herobrine is never gone. He is still...